and I'm doing a 10 minute painting. Um, I just got off work. I figure right now is going to be the best time to just blast out a quick live. <laughs> and one thing about the 10 minute paintings is uh, I'm not going to limit myself to 10 minutes. I'm just telling myself that this is only going to take 10 minutes. I might as well just do it, get it done, and then get on with the rest of my day. Um, one of the reasons that I'm doing this is because just to keep myself in the practice of doing daily paintings, daily 10 minute paintings, and accountability, so you guys can hold me accountable. I'm seeing some frame dropping happen here. I'm not sure what's going on, so. Ah, heck with it. All right, so here's what I have. I'm going to switch over my camera. And let's see, the painting that I wanna work on right now. Oh, come on, man. My iPad doesn't wanna open. Okay, so this, if you can see this, this is a painting that I didn't take this picture now. My son took this picture. And uh, uh, that's a picture of Haley and their new little puppy, Blue Dog. Um, and this is Lou Dog going for a walk in his first snow. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so that's my plan. That's what I'm planning on doing in 10 minutes. I have my stack of scraps. Just have to find one suitable. And I have some paint nearby. So I've got um, just red, yellow, blue, and uh, turquoise, black, white. I could do a silver and black. Yeah, let's try one of these. That looks that looks pretty close. Okay. We'll take one of these scraps and go with this. Just going to take a little bit of pencil sketching here, so just bear with me a moment. All right. So, I've got a railing. Starts about here. Comes way down to here. I'm not going to get too uptight about the railing because it's not the main part of the picture, although it is going to have an effect on how this finished piece turns out. Um, let's see, but this railing comes down here, then up there. Look at that cute little puppy. And if you do happen to be catching this live, go ahead and, you know, say hi, if you want to. Hey, hi, Tina, how are you? So here's my road kind of ending off in the distance here. And this is going to come way up here. And the other railing I think is gonna come right down here. Did you know that you can't erase pencil off of canvas? <laughs> Pro tip. So I've got some other things off in the background here. There's some towers. I don't wanna get too sketchy about those because they're just background details, just some kind of blur balls that happen to be building shaped. Some lights. I do want the lights, those are pretty. Okay, and then here's my path coming this way. Would it help if I show you what I'm drawing? Maybe it would. Okay, like this way, and then that kind of comes around the corner, goes up this way. She's got another railing right across from this one, but it's a touch higher. And when I say she, I mean Haley. I don't know why I mean that, but <laughs> that's what I mean. Okay, so let's get to the important stuff. That was just all the background scribbles. Let's get to that little puppy, Lou Dog. So he's about this big, and he's kind of a little little hopper. He's got a little leg up in the air, got a little leg down here. Yeah, when I originally saw this painting, uh, or I'm sorry, this photo, Cody posted it on Facebook, and so of course I saved it right away. My plan was to do this in watercolor because it just looks like that would be a perfect watercolor painting. Look at all those lights, look at all those deep, Skies, that would be a fun one. Okay, Lou Dog's little tail comes off over here. Got some ears there. He's got a leash. So Haley, she's about so big. 
kind of kind of over here. Yeah. So she's got a foot over here, foot over here. Jacket. She's got a head over here. Jacket goes this way. Arm goes that way. Jacket goes this way. I'm not going to get too detailed. I'm just mostly going to paint her as a silhouette. So I'm not super worried about, you know, different slight variations of color on the boots or anything else. She's got some fluffy fat boots there. Over here too. <laughs> All right, jacket comes down here again. Get some lead out, all right. So our jacket comes like this, okay? And then she's got this arm sticking out a little bit right there. A little bit of a mitten. Hope that all comes through. This is kind of a lot of pencil, way more than I like to put on a background of a painting. And here's Ludog's leash. And there they go, running down the uh, sidewalk. Shadow. <laughs> All right, so I'm just looking at this drawing now and realizing that it's pretty hard to tell what's going on there. Uh, just gonna have to trust me. <laughs> I'm just going to have to trust me. Okay, because uh, I haven't painted this painting before. I haven't practiced this at all. Um, this is just my way of these 10 minute paintings, these live paintings, are where I get to figure out new paintings to do. And you get to watch if you want to. Um, so you're probably not going to see, well, you know, you're going to see something. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, so I kind of want square brushes because I have a lot of lines, but they're kind of blurry lines, so I don't want to make too much importance out of them. This one does pretty well lines. Um, let's see if I can find another flat here. So I have a flat that does lines. Okay, let's go with that. So I have enough brushes here. I'll just take what I need when I need it. And see if I can kind of scoot that out of the way there. I want to start with kind of the background. I know I have some yellows in there. I have some blues, of course. I have this building back there that I don't want to emphasize too much. I kind of want to just sort of paint around it a little bit. But I don't want to hide that glow. There's that really nice kind of soft glow off in the background. But I might have to do that in another layer. blocking in some of the background here. I know I've got some buildings, so I'm just going to kind of leave some space for those. I probably won't even paint them. I'll probably leave, leave them the color of this background. One nice thing about um, starting off with a colored background, it kind of, kind of gives you a, a little bit of a cheat there. Okay. All right, so down in here, I want to just very, very lightly. So we've got some posts kind of in there. I don't want to make too many. I don't want to draw too much attention to them because they are not the star of the show. Little baby Lou Dog is, and Haley, of course. Okay. Eh, I don't know if I want to do much more with this. Hold on. Hold on, let me fix it. All right. <laughs> Okay, you don't have to make everything perfect, you just have to make it so you're happy with it. That's the rule. Okay, I've got a bunch of glows down there. I'm not going to touch those. I've got, let's see, this almost looks a little brown, doesn't it? Maybe a little black. So 
So I'll just mix a little black in with my blue there. And I'll leave that railing bare. Okay, and I'll just do some streaks. Some streaks down. Yeah, I think more black than blue on that one. Definitely more black than blue. Again, this one is not the star of the show, so not too much emphasis on it. I'm just trying to make the background appear to be, you know, something city-like. I'm not worried about making it exact like the photograph. I just want it to read as a city. Like they're walking down the sidewalk in a city. Lights in the background. Okay, and I don't want to get too detail over here. I can come back and do details later. But I have my color. So, moving on. Also, one of the reasons for having square brushes is because I have a lot of straight lines. <laughs> I don't know about you, but straight lines are not my friend. All the help I can get with making straight lines, I need it. Okay, so that is going to have to fade off a little back there. All right, and this, I kind of want to dull it down a little, but not too much. So maybe I'll just take some like watery blue black and I'll just kind of do some big old streaks. I'm just kind of dragging I have my little pinky finger here down on the ground. So this is my kind of cheat. I can just kind of drag. And that'll help me with the straight lines. I see a pencil line that I should have. There should be a shadow over here. Okay, kind of fades. Okay. All right, cleaning the brush. I have some oranges that I want to bring back in here. So let's just see what we have there. And now that I'm looking at this, if I paint this one another time, I might paint it with more purples than blues. Hmm. Well, kind of like I was starting to explain to you earlier that the reason to do these is because uh, these quick 10 minute paintings is just for me to practice, to get ideas, to, um, to work out some ideas that can be painted later. So. That really is the reason for this. So you get to see me make mistakes and make adjustments and do weird drawings or maybe incomprehensible drawings. It's kind of like handwriting. I don't expect everybody to read my handwriting because it's impossible for a lot of people. I can't even read my own handwriting sometimes. Um, and it's the same with a painting. Or sketching, I, I should say. Some sketches are only legible to the person that drew them. Okay, so a couple more. I'm just brightening this up with a little bit of orange. Kind of red-yellow streaks anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that orange over here. One more white. So I have that railing. I know I said I wasn't going to put a lot of detail, but it's, you also, also said you have to be happy with it. And this one's bugging me a little, so let's get that railing on there. Okay, take most of that paint back out, pick up some new white. I'm just going to add in a couple of white streaks along the buildings here. Yeah, we'll kind of pretend these are some glows. How lovely. Still want it to be left in the background, so if I have a Big lamp there, big lamp there, just some big glowy spots. I think maybe a little more orangey down here first. What am I worrying about all this background for? I'm supposed to be getting to the important part. Ten minutes, man. <laughs> Yeah, so if I if I paint this one again, it'll it'll be oranges and purples primarily. 
and I'll make these, these fuzzy highlights a little bit better. Ooh, more white, more white. <laughs> Not turquoise, white. Okay, and we'll try that one more time, a little bit lower. Getting some color in here anyway. All right, enough of that. All right, almost enough. <laughs> okay, I'll bring back this, uh, this, what would you call that, curb, I guess? And then a little bit darker. Kind of like right down in here. Eh, a little more orange than that. fades away. Okay, I'll let that dry a little bit before I try to mush in any more lights and let's get on to the important parts. Find a smaller brush here and mix up a Ludog color. Or should I mix up a Haley color first? Oh, sorry, I'm not paying attention. Can you push the plate back in the painting up? I'm not seeing, oh crap, you're right. Sorry. And uh, painting is too low, yeah. And I'm not paying attention to comments, so I'm sorry about that, too. Um, okay, so here we are. <laughs> Thanks for mentioning that, though. I totally would have not done that at all. Okay, so let's see. I kind of want to go with Haley color first. You know why? Because I feel like it's going to punch up the dynamics of this painting a little bit more. It's gonna, it'll be my darks. It'll really punch in my darks. Okay, so... Plus, I'm starting to paint over the top of her and I can't see her anymore, so maybe I should zoom in on this a little better. Um, does that help? Is it better or worse if I zoom in on the painting? You won't be able to see the reference photo as much or the um, my palette as much. Okay, so I'm kind of doing her, starting with her arm. And now the color here, I'm just using a kind of a purpley blue black. Little red, little blue, little black. I just want a dark color, but I don't want it to be completely black. I don't know why. Okay. Things to work on in the future. Pay better attention to comments. Maybe adjust the camera better to begin with know what I'm doing by now, right? Oh, hold on. There's someone here. No rest for the wicked. All right. Well, hey, thanks for your patience. Um, so yeah, I'm, at the I'm the only one at the studio right now. I shut all the lights off. <laughs> I left the main room. I'm back here in the what used to be the private party room, but is now our video studio. Um, and Yep, and somebody just came in because I just totally left the door unlocked. I mean, I didn't even didn't even think to lock it. I just thought if the door is, if all the light's off, nobody will come in. <laughs> Our hours are posted right on the door saying that we close at 6. Anyway, no matter. It's fine. Plus, they're going to be coming in in a couple weeks for Open Studio to do a gigantic abstract painting. So that should be a fun one. She asked if we had glitter, and I literally almost threw out the glitter today because we're cleaning out the studio. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to talk and paint at the same time. Anyway, so we're cleaning out the studio because uh, we are moving out. We are. I am currently in our West Fargo studio. We've been here for five years now. The rent is insanely high. Oh my gosh, it's so high. Uh, at the time that we moved in, it didn't seem like, you know, it seemed like it was a, still a doable price range. Um, but five years experience has taught me differently. And COVID is not kind to social painting events. So what our plan is going forward is to um, take everything online, kind of like this. We have our membership subscription, which is called, if you just look up creativeboxlive.com, 
And there are two different types of subscriptions. One is the Creative Box Live, and that's where you actually get a box of art supplies shipped to you each month. And then we do live paint-alongs every Tuesday night. Not every Tuesday, it's only four Tuesdays a month. So you get four Tuesdays a month worth of paint-alongs. And then there's the Creative Just Live membership, which is um, exactly the same, minus the box. So what you get is, in your membership, um, you get access to the live videos, to the, um, oh, kind of got a weird foot there, to all the supply list, to the written instructions, to the um, whatever else that we have available for you. And well, as long as you're a member, you have access to all of the videos, not just that month, all of them. So that means that if we've been doing Creative Box Live since July of 2020. So that means you get access to all the videos all the way back to July 2020. All right, sorry about all that yapping. I'm not trying to be a spammer here. I'm just trying to talk and paint at the same time. Got a big area of shadow here. And not a lot to say about it. That also could be purple. So when I do this one for real, maybe if we do this for something like this for a class, I'm going to go full on oranges and purples instead of dark black shadows. It's just kind of easy to think of silhouettes as black. Okay, so, oh, she's gonna need a head, isn't she? <laughs> she has a scarf there. All right, let's switch brushes. So her scarf has a little bit of um, shape to it. So, oh, look at that, stick my hand in wet paint naturally. That is my favorite pastime. And by favorite pastime, I mean it's not, but I do it all the time. I always stick my hands in wet paint. Okay, so she's got her grayish scarf right there. Man, I kind of went weird on that foot shape, didn't I? Let's fix that. Okay. Now I've got black on the brush. I'll just kind of fill in that scarf. And now we're going to fill in this curly, curly hair. <laughs> so we've got a big old curly bun right there. kind of more curly hair over here. I don't really see her face from this angle at all. I like how the, the glow on her hair though. Can you see that? Oh. She's kind of got that glow around her hair. Yeah, so I'll see if I can pull that off, you know, in a little bit here. So moving on, let's get that. I think her glove is about the same color as Ludog, so it must be time to do Ludog colors. Let's see, how long have we been so far? I think we're past the 10 minute mark. <laughs> By a minute or two. Um, I'll go back and I'll edit out all the uh, uh, customer parts later. Um, let's see. God, I should have done that shadow first, come to think of it. Anyway, onward to the Ludog. New brush. Ludog is mostly yellow. Tisha red. Tish of, I'm gonna go with turquoise, how about that, huh? I haven't used turquoise yet. Um, don't like it, nope, nope. So, blue dog is tish of yellow, tish of red. <laughs> tish of blue, <laughs> not turquoise this time. Uh, more red, more yellow. Mm -hmm -hmm. More, more yellow. Blue dog's kind of a yellow little dog. So when I chose my colors today, I had no idea what I was going to paint. I did not know what I was going to paint until I sat down in this chair and started looking through photos. So I grabbed my paint first and then came in here. Um, I want a little white with that, come to think of it. So I only just grabbed the basic colors. I grabbed yellow, red, blue, Darn it, there I go again with the stick of my hand in wet paint. Sorry, guys. Oh, well, it is what it is. I told you, you're gonna see the real authentic behind the scenes stuff. 
So that's how it works when I'm working on new paintings. Well, actually, any painting. I always stick my hand in the wet paint. It seems like, you know, that would be the sort of thing that you'd learn after a while and stop doing. Mm, not me. <laughs> not today. Oh, he's got this big old belly hanging down. He's got some little paws under there. So I'm kind of filling him in with all the same color. And I do want a little more white in it, though. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't checking uh, <sighs> comments again. Sorry about that. Okay, so a month of the box, if you're getting the actual box with supplies sent to you every month, those boxes are $99 a month. And that you get four paintings. So you get the canvas, you get the tracing stencils, you get the written instructions, you get the links for the videos, uh, live videos, so you can ask questions. Most of them are live. I've had to record a few, but that's okay. You dunk your shirt in paint. See, I dunk. Yeah, you dunk your shirt in paint. Did you get it cleaned out right away, or do you have a new paint shirt? <laughs> I kind of feel like that's how you get paint shirts. All right, so I'm taking this blue dog color and I'm coloring in her little mitten there. Um, let's see what else do I have. Oh, but if you want the subscription minus the box. So if you want just the subscription, the online subscription that where you use your own supplies, that one is currently $39 a month. And as long as you're a member, you have access to all the videos and all the downloads, all the tracing downloads, the whole deal. All of it for the low, low price of $39. Okay, so I'm kind of mixing in this darker color. All I did was take that same color, the Ludog color, and just put a little black in it. And I'm trying to get it to blend. Although you know how blending works, right? Because um, to blend, you have to have two colors that are wet, and then you blend them together. And that doesn't really work <laughs> once your paint is dry. So I'm kind of doing a faux blend here. Trying to get this. So a faux blend would be where you just kind of drag dry paint. So you're letting some of the underlayer show through. And I guess that's just a normal way to paint and I don't know why I call it faux blend. But a true blend would be where you have two wet paints and you blend them together and they actually look blended. Um, faux blend is like you fake it. So a little bit darker there in the Ludog. A little bit more black. All right, and then I'll go full blend in this color, trying to get him to, you know, because he's basically a silhouette too. It's just that he's also, he's just a slightly lighter color silhouette. So I do need him to have some dark darks. This is my grand doggy, by the way. Did I tell you that? Yep, my new grand doggy. No grandkids yet, but I have a grand doggy. <laughs> so I've had to go um, buy doggy toys to keep at my house in case doggy comes to visit and doesn't have any toys to chew on. Um, since I got those toys, he has not come to visit, so they're still in the package. One of these days, though. Okay, I'll go back to that kind of medium blue dog color if I can. Kind of blend that up in the back there. Okay, dark blue dog color. Shadow color. That's what I want, the dark shadow color now. The one that's mostly black. Kind of dot in there a little bit around the ears. Okay, a little bit on the, around his little tiny hind end. Oh, what kind of a dog is he? He's, um, do we do watercolor videos or kits? Absolutely. If you go to creativelyuncorked.com and there's a link up at the top that says shop. 
So click on that link and then you'll see a list of the different types of kits that we have available. And one of them is watercolor kits to go. Um, and if you don't want the to-go kit, the to-go kit is where we actually send you all the supplies. So we're going to send you your watercolor paints, we're going to send you your brushes, and uh, yeah, and you can order whatever you want. And they all come with video. If you check the, if you have your own supplies and you just want the video, then you can check um, creativelyuncorked.com, click on the shop section, and then check, uh, click on virtual art kits. So it's either going to be called virtual art kits or on-demand art kits. And what that is, is it's the video and it's the download. Um, and by download, I mean the traceable. There's instructions for tracing that onto your paper. Um, so that's what you get for the virtual art kit. And all watercolor paintings have video. With our acrylic art kits, actually we're just sending out video with everything these days. Everything must have video. More white. Working on that fuzzy, fuzzy hair of hers. <laughs> Needs to be more white. How about let's take all the paint out of that brush and go with just white. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with watercolor. I love watercolor. Um, also, you can check right here on my channel, on my YouTube channel. I've they're not going to they're not going to be great videos <laughs> sorry about that um they're just not but because again it's yep, this is me learning and practicing and um putting it online because hey that gives other people a chance to learn and practice too but i do have a few watercolor videos on here some full-length videos where it kind of go through step by step fuzzy on the hair there. I'm getting way in depth here for this 10 minute painting. Get some highlight on her, get my paint turned around here so I can get to it easier. Paint on her mitten, highlight on her mitten I should say. Okay, now Lou Dog needs highlights. Lou Dog. Get some light on your tail there little Lou Dog. And how about right on the tops of your little ears? Again with a faux blend, the kind of a dry brushing blend. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> little boops on the Ludog head. Boop, boop, boop. What a cutie. So this is when Ludog was brand new. This was his first trip in the snow. He's not little anymore. He's, um, my gosh, is he five months? Okay, he was, he was eight weeks at Thanksgiving. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I've heard that he's at least twice as big as he was the last time I saw him. Okay. So I can do a little tiny bit of highlight here on that back leg, just to kind of define a leg. Yeah, I think it's looking like a dog. Okay, onward. Let's fix that Haley, because she's uh, not looking like a... I mean, she is. She's looking pretty okay, but whoops. That mitten, my goodness, it got away from me. And I have to decide, do I want to do anything else to the background? Do I want to fill in this shadow at all? Mm -hmm. If I do, I should do that before I go too wonky on this mess. And I think, yeah, and I, I have that, whoopsies, the leash there to do too. All right, so I think I don't want to keep doing this one to death because this is meant to be a 10 minute painting. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of white here. I'm gonna have all these bright, bright lights off in the background. I'm just kind of dabbing some lights in randomly here. My photo is a guideline. It's not the absolute, you know, life and death of what this needs to end up like. I'm going to call it artistic license and paint whatever I want. I'll do like that. Okay, some lines, some building shapes here. Hey, we get that railing in here now. Why not make it white? What the heck? Um, so then 
find a find a brush here. I'm kind of <laughs> got them all full of paint. Maybe I'll just take kind of a little bit of purplish color. So, and my, both of my blue and my red are transparent. It's um it's a phthalo blue, and it's a bright red. They're both pretty transparent. So I'm hoping that even after I get that shadow in and put it right across my silhouettes, that it's still going to be just fine. Okay, this kind of fades away in the background over there, so there we go. So I just gotta <laughs> blend it into my silhouette. And I'm going to say that is close enough for rock and roll. Ten minute painting. It's supposed to be a ten minute painting. Get this a little darker here on the outside just because this is kind of like a nice framed in scene. So to get that framed in look, you kind of have to have darker on the outside edges. So I'll take that purple. I'll do the same thing over here. Yep, losing a little bit of my lights over on that side, but that is okay. They're not necessary. Got a little bit of shadow on my... Um, What do you call that curb? I don't know why I can't think of that word today. Okay, so that's kind of really light and bright off that way. Some little darker colors up in here. Kind of a little darker a little bit over there. <laughs> Ten minute painting. Let it go, let it go. All right, well, the moral of the story is I have a really pretty good plan on what I'm going to do when I paint this for real. And what do I mean paint it for real? I mean, um, so I have art classes that you can find online. A lot of them are at Udemy, some are at creativelyuncorked.com. And we do classes here at the studio. We have classes that you can sign up for, um, paid classes that are <laughs> fully not, messed up and already already learned and figured out how does that work um, and this is just me practicing and figuring it out so let's see got a little there now I've got the leash I think that road there should actually be a lot lighter. Now is not really the time to adjust that, but maybe, maybe I can just do a little bit. Clean one of these brushes here. Yeah, I know, I know. Going right over the top of that leash, I'll have to fix that. So this is kind of what you call, I mean, it's a nice frame design. Blue Dog's not getting enough tension. Maybe I can make him a little brighter. Maybe a few new highlights. See? Get yourself some good brushes, folks. <laughs> or tape them together. Maybe that's a good idea, too. All right, I am going to call it. I think she's got some there. You can tell it's, you can tell it's Haley. You can tell it's a dog. I'm pretty sure you can anyway. My 10 minutes are up and then some. My building's a little wonky, but that's good. And the best 
part of this is. I've figured out a plan for how to do this one next time. So maybe you'll join me next time too. Thank you for sticking around and watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow.